welcome welcome to pretty size in this uh video i'm going to show you how i blend my images in lexica lexica is a ai program where you can design images and um i want to thank uh, jackie jackson one of my friends who told me about lexica and i don't know the whole program yet but um i can for sure blend some some images and uh, i wanted to show you guys really quick i'm going to show you how to get there um, you go to google you type in lexica aperture right here and you get this okay and then you click on here and then you come here uh, when you come over here you can um i think you can create an account but you can also get uh i think about 25 to 50 free images and then they require you to to subscribe to their um, program and I saw it here the membership like they bill you annually yearly eight dollar a month 96 months the whole year but when you take a month by month you know ten dollar a month but you have also restrictions ten thousand fast generation three thousand seven thousand extra okay um that's for the membership okay um i have an account here so i'll sign in I s okay i signed in here is my account um when you here on generate you here is where you're going to put your prompt and okay well let's go to the dimensions you can create um images on different measurements this is the the long one for with this one it's easier to get uh, full body images and then you you have this the smaller ones 512 640 i think it's pixels yeah pixels yeah you have the wide one and all that maybe for landscape you will you would need this one but since I love the full body images, I will keep it on this 512768. And in here, I'm using version 2. And um, guidance scale, really, I don't know what this is. Okay, it says CLS contrast mode. You need to go and play with it. Fix double head. Sometimes they have, images have double heads. But today we're going, to, I'm going to show you on the blending how i blend my images and let me go to my history real, real quick and here is here are bl images that i blended um i like these ones they all came out really well you could see that i used a little person here to blend <laughs> yeah so i'm going to pick out what i want and one more thing i'm using my prompts from from creative fabrica i created some prompts there yeah and I'm using the same prompts with just Google images and images that I had create new images so okay let me show you the first thing we're going to do let me tell you this with the blending here says upload image how it works for me I always upload my image first and then I add my prompt my description when I do it uh, otherwise, it w it doesn't work for me. So you may go and try it and see what you will get. But um, I have success with op uploading my image first and then adding my prompt. So that really works for me. Okay, um, about talking about images, let's go to Google real quick and let's um, let's search for. I'll search for clip arts. But you can also use stock images. Let, let's look for a, a real picture. Girl walking. Okay. Ooh, let's see. Um, let, 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 let's take this one. She's walking. Okay. And the thing I do, I right click and I save that image. You can, you can um, delete it after then as a jpeg or as a png most of the time it's jpeg other formats don't work for me save okay i have that image now um first we're going to do it with our own with our own words and then we're going to use our old prompt from creative fabrica 
upload I upload my image this walking lady okay the image is here now for instance I want her to wear let's say a red hoodie red hoodie and a green bag green bag afro hair let's see how this blending will go so um the system will use this lady with these attributes let's generate and see okay you see the images that i get she has a green bag I know why why okay this uh, this came out perfect you see the green bag that we were talking about mm -mm -mm -mm. it's a little bit abnormal here but you see what happened the pictures copied the pose of the lady yeah co copied the pose of the lady I was able to change the color of the bag and give the lady afro hair and i said a red hoodie yeah so it makes the gray that the lady has on with um with the red that i put in and here the 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 color of the hoodie went to the bag and even the shoes so you will choose the right ones the one that suits you i think this is the best one so you can um, um blend um like pictures like uh, stock images or pictures that you own with other words and it will change the appearance of uh, the images that you will get okay now i will remove this and i will delete my picture remove my picture and then i will come back i'll go to my creative fabric this ladies actually these ladies wore wedding dresses let me see i think she wore Mm. let's do this really quick I will have to change some things mm -mm. okay I'll copy it and then I'll go in here and I have it on my clipboard I will actually I will upload the f the picture again I think this picture is a little bit uh, uh, um it's not so clear because it's so far away and I'll post I'll paste my prompts in here and if you have a prompt and you you need to change some stuff in it you can do it now what rest in warrior attire mm, I think I will take that off I will remove that okay and then I will generate Oh, I don't know if I can use this. Oh, she came out beautiful. Some stuff are not <laughs> are not in their places. But she came out cute. You see the hair. We'll talk about the hair later. This one is beautiful also. I will have to do something on here. Hmm. A little bit warrior came out. You see it mixed, it blended the, the jeans that she has on, that the image in the picture has on, with the bag and the sneakers and all that. Uh, look here, I have here brown skin. Although this lady is Caucasian, my images came out brown skin. Highly detailed painting, sharp hookahs. Okay, big wavy hair, you see that? Big wavy hair, you see it in the images. The big wavy hair we have there intricate detail intricate detail are these i'll show you really quick you see these things here these are intricate detail you see on her on her pants on her shoes this one has a little bit on her sh yeah on her arm mm -hmm. yeah you see that here intricate detail this one and maybe the the the, the, the shoes too Let's see on this. Yeah, intricate detail is your extra thing here. And all these are intricate details. Okay, so uh, um, you can blend anything. 
any pose of, of, of someone and all that. Let's check another one out. In this one, I'm just going to copy the prompt on my clipboard and I'll delete it. And I'll, I'll use a man. I'll use an image of a man. I'll go to Google. I'll type in here, man. We're looking for a man. Close up picture of a man walk. Let's see this guy. Okay, I think we can use him. I will right click and I'll save the image. Oh, it came in PNG. And I'll save him. I'll delete him later on. I'll go back to Lexica. I think we were here. And I'll upload the image. And then I will paste the I will paste the prompt again and now I will change some stuff in here. Instead of women, I'll put men. I'll take the cute out. Beautiful, highly detailed painting. Everything that will um, point to women, I'll take out. Hair. Okay. Intricate detail. I'll take the intricate detail out. This is a man. It's a man. Okay, illustration cartoon. Precisely the habit of this brown skin man, brown skin red. This thing with eyes. Highly detailed digital paint. The art station. Um, illustration is the install of Mark Brook Polish. Let me get this B out of the way. Big polish. Okay. Polish. Mm -hmm. If you want, you can put a 4K too. It's something that we use for the shininess 4k okay let's let's see what will come of this image let's generate okay i think we have the images already oh you see how we, what we have now i think they came out really well you see the intricate is in the system it's still showing a little bit on this guy the intricate is right here and on his neck yeah came out really well let's see this one yep they came out perfectly yeah he still have the intricate things <laughs> still on here but this it didn't come out too bad because it's the system knows that it was there even when I deleted it okay so this worked out really really well my 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 way of doing it like I said always upload the image the image first first on this site and then paste in the prompt or put the changes that you want to see and um yeah and then generate and then you will see what will come out um i think all the four all all four of these guys came out really well um if i had um if i wanted to have him in another sh color of shirt maybe i should put something let me see let's say i say uh blue shirt blue shirt mm -hmm. and let's generate one more time hopefully his shirt color will change i think it will let's get it yes it changed a little bit yeah it changed a little bit let's see the difference you see white and blue it changed a little bit and it's still holding on on this guy it's still holding on it on him yeah yeah he took like the last guy and um, multiply it back to us but it came out really well. So I think this uh, system works. Uh, I found out by um, trial and error, like on the blending, because this is the fourth day I'm working on it. Me and my daughter, and she saw some stuff, and she said, Mom, look at that, look at that. So we are trying, we are <laughs> working on it, and we found out, found out some cool stuff that this software can do. So I hope this uh, video helps you. And do not forget to subscribe and click on the notification bell every time.
I upload a video you will be notified if you want to upscale your images I will have a video to show you how so that you can make money with your images thank you so much for watching see